fans of Moivin Channel. For this video, we're going to be doing our final and official forecast of this major winter storm that is expected for portions of the Great Lakes and other moderate to heavy snow accumulations going on in the rest of the Great Lakes as well. Um, while some of this may be going on in the place, this is just going to be our final forecast of the Great Lakes area of the storm. Uh, before I get into this video, I would highly recommend that you do subscribe um, so that you guys can get further updates on systems like this. Um, and I also highly recommend that you click that like button and share this video out to other people that you want to know this because this will be our final forecast. Um, unlike my normal videos, this will include the detailed thumbnail and this will also include my official snowfall forecast at the end of the video. I want to give a shout out before I get into this video of Steam Bo Steve Bonesteel, owner and operator of TC Vortex, for making these maps. Uh, they look great and they're very useful for today's video. So this thumbnail that you're seeing, this picture that you're seeing, and my official snowfall forecast at the end are both from uh, Steve Bonesteel of TC Vortex for making these maps. So thank you so much. They are very useful for this video. Um, so for this video, like I said, I'm going to be taking you guys through our final forecast of this major winter storm. I'll be showing you guys the GFS simulated model run until 18Z on Monday, and then I'll show you guys some different snowfall depth models in the same time frame, and then I'll finish it all off with our final official snowfall forecast. Um, so right now on my thumbnail, this green area here is just where I'm expecting some rain. With the circled area where I think that we could see some heavier rain, maybe even a couple inches possible, uh, which is a lot of rain compared to snow here. Um, so I, we do have to be on the lookout for some heavy rain in those areas, I think. On these blue regions here, this is where I think that we, we, we could see some snow. Not necessarily snowstorm conditions, but some snow is possible here, even if it's just a dusting or so. Uh, this red region is where I'm expecting snowstorm conditions of over around 6 inches. And then this black shaded area here is where I think that we could see major snowstorm conditions. Um, so to start off with, these are our current National Weather Service watches and warnings map here. Um, so you can see all these purple areas here, which again, I won't really be going over the plains too much. Really, uh, eastern Wisconsin and eastern Illinois is the furthest this map will show. Uh, but you can see that we do have those winter weather advisories that have been issued, which is a little bit less criteria than a winter storm warning. But then on the right side of the screen in Michigan, all these pinks here in Michigan, on some of West Michigan here, this is where we have active winter storm warnings in effect here uh, for heavy heavy mixed precipitation here. We can also maybe expect an accumulation, a light glaze of ice here, uh, but heavy snow is possible. So we do have those winter storm warnings in effect. So especially if you live in these regions or these blue regions to the north of it, you're kind of these uh, aquamarine or electric blue regions in northern Michigan here where we still have these winter storm watches in effect. I would especially recommend that you watch this video and that you guys share this video out uh, to people living in those regions and make sure to hit a like on the video so that you can get it out to more people. And then just south of this we have a, a few counties that are active in winter weather advisories right now. I do expect that, expect that we will see more of these as we get closer to the system. This is going to be by 18Z on Friday December 11th, 2020. The times for the Z's are going to vary depending on where you are uh, because this is an eastern daylight time and central daylight time storm here. At uh, this time, we're going to have a 1,007 millibar park system set up over western Missouri at this time. Most of this is going to be rain. These red lines are indicating temperatures over 32 degrees, while these blue lines are indicating temperatures under 32 degrees. Um, so we'll, Because we will have some of those blue lines mixing into this storm here, these low temperatures here, uh, this will bring us a little bit of snow going on there for portions of mainly Nebraska, maybe also some of Kansas, Colorado, uh, Wyoming, and then we'll also see a very, um, really most of it's going to be rain, but we'll see a little bit of snow mixing in for portions of Iowa and Wisconsin at this time. This is going to be... Um... Okay, this is going to be by 0Z on Friday, on Saturday, December 12th here. Um, this is where we're going to see that 1,004 millibolar pressure system making its way to eastern Missouri at this time. Uh, it's not going to be super strong at this time, but it will bring us some rain, maybe some light to moderate rain, maybe going, mainly going out in Missouri at this time. Uh, we're also going to see some snow mixing in in the northern portion of this from a line extending out through Colorado, northern Kansas, mainly southern Nebraska, and also some of northern Iowa and southern Wisconsin and western Michigan here. We can see some snow. No rain mixing in here. Uh, at 6Z on Saturday, December 12th, this is when we're going to see that 1,003 millivolar pressure system making its way to the northeast central and southwest central um, Illinois border here. It's going to be 1,003 at that time. Uh, we'll see some rain mixing in with the heaviest being centered over Missouri at this time. Uh, we'll see some gusty winds mixing in, mainly to the western side of the system here, where we'll also see uh, most of our snow accumulations going on again, mainly in eastern Nebraska and western Iowa, and some light stuff, a light mixture going on in over the rest of Iowa. 
Iowa, or the rest of the blue areas in Iowa at least, and then also some of Wisconsin and Michigan as well. At 12Z on Saturday, December 12th, we're going to see that 999 middle low pressure system. So at this time, this low pressure system is strengthening in barometric pressure here. I remember that if the number drops, that means that the low pressure system is strengthening uh, because it's drop, it's it's uh, increasing low pressure and barometric pressure here. Oh, now we are going to see a pretty good portion of snow mixing in here for a good majority of Iowa. Again, some of Nebraska and Kansas as well. Also some of Wisconsin and Michigan here. Uh, the most heavy snow accumulations on land are going to be mainly for a, a brief area in Iowa where it's going to mix in with this rain. Another brief area in southeastern Wisconsin where it's going to mix in with the rain. And then mainly Lake Michigan will be the heaviest of the snow. At this time, we will have saw some heavy snow on land before it goes out here. Uh, the heaviest of our rain is going to be over southern Lake Michigan at this time. Uh, it's going to be a question whether or not Chicago is going to see heavy rain because it doesn't really show that just there, but I still would be on the lookout if you do live in those regions. Otherwise, we'll see some snow and rain going on there. Uh, at 18Z on Saturday, December 12th, we're going to see some very heavy snow making its way um, into central, South Central Lake Michigan at this time with some moderate to heavy snow or heavy rain going on for a good majority of Southern and Central Michigan. Uh, we'll see some widespread light to maybe moderate rain going on for a good majority of Ohio, uh, Indiana, just the Ohio Valley, I should say here. On the western Great Lakes, including Iowa, we'll see a rain-snow mixture. We'll see some fairly heavy snow going on in Milwaukee area at this time. Again, we're going to see a 996 millibar pressure system, so at this time it is still strengthening. That will also bring some gusty winds to the north. At 0Z on Sunday, December 13th, that's when we're going to see that 998 millibar pressure system making its way to the Thumb region of Michigan here. We're going to see some pretty heavy snow accumulations still going on for portions of northern Michigan and western Michigan, and then some of eastern Wisconsin as well. For the most part, it'll be fizzling out of eastern Wisconsin at this time, but we will see some light snow accumulations still going on here. The most of it is going to be for northern Michigan, particularly northeastern Michigan, and maybe some of the Traverse Bay as well. Uh, we're going to pick up a lot of snow in these regions here, I anticipate. At 60 on Sunday, December 13th, we're going to see some widespread light snow going on for a good majority of Michigan here. And then we'll also see our gusty winds pretty much fizzling out for the United States. Uh, really, the only s area that's being affected by snow here is Michigan. Uh, maybe some showers lingering around for Wisconsin. But for the most part, it's going to be done. I'll see that 999 Miller Butler Park system getting into Ontario at this time. And then eventually by 12Z on Sunday, December 13th. So I messed up. We're actually going to stop this at 12Z on December 13th on uh, December 13th because I don't really want to take you guys too far out because uh, right now the, the track could change a little bit and really this is when our snow accumulation is going to stop. Um, so, th and this is going to be by uh, the same time frame when the storm system is almost over. This is going to be our GFS simulated model by about Monday at 18Z here. Um, and this is when we're going to see, it looks like when we're going to see the most of our snow accumulation here, we can see some widespread major snow accumulations going on on portions of northeastern Michigan here, where we could see 14 to 16 inches of snow. Um, this one's definitely showing this being a major snowstorm. Really, most of the models are showing this being a major snowstorm. I'm calling a major snowstorm over 10 inches of, of snow here. Um, that's usually the general area that you'd call it that. And it definitely looks like this is very possible, mainly in northern Michigan here, where we have these reds going on. And, of course, the cores in these reds are even heavier snow. Uh, these widespread pinks here, these pinks is really what I'm considering uh, winter storm criteria here. So this is our GFS model run that you guys just saw here, so it's coordinating with this model. And it definitely looks like it could drop a lot of snow to northern Michigan, maybe some of eastern Wisconsin as well. Otherwise, widespread 1 to 5 inches going on from Nebraska, Iowa, Wisconsin, Michigan. Um, maybe a little bit west off the screen as well, and southwest to the off the screen as well. But really, we're just going over our Great Lake system, like I said. It's going to be our GFS V16 model, and this one's showing the most major out of the four of uh, very major snow accumulations going on for most of northern and north central Michigan here. We're seeing a wi two widespread areas that could see 14 to 16 inches of snow. Uh, this is no doubt going to be a major snowstorm if these areas are, if this is true, I believe we, that we do have some active winter storm warnings in place. That, but they said a heavy mixed precipitation of, I, I believe, 4 to 10 inches when I was reading it, uh, with a light accumulation of ice as well. Uh, this is also going to be the snow falling out of the sky. This is not going to be the snow sticking on the ground, so keep that in mind. A good majority of s southeastern and south central Wisconsin, far northern, maybe some of far northeastern, east central uh, Illinois here, and then also portions of, of Iowa and Nebraska, which I'm not really going to talk about. I could see some snowstorm conditions here, with the most of it again going on uh, mainly in northern and north central Michigan, maybe some of southeastern Wisconsin and in Lake Michigan. It's going to be our GFS high resolution model, which I've, I've noticed quite recently that they don't really say a lot of snow. Uh, this could be because they're not including the Great Lakes ever. 
Um, but still, really, this one's not showing a lot of snow. Uh, they could be showing some, maybe some major snowstorm accumulations going on in far northeastern, uh, lower Michigan here on the lake here on coastline. Uh, those dark, darker purples here, that core. Uh, but otherwise, we're seeing some snowstorm accumulations still going on for some of northern Michigan, uh, including the Traverse Bay area. So we we still would have ma we still would have uh, winter storm effects here. Not necessarily widespread major snowstorm effects, but still possible here. Otherwise, we're just seeing widespread uh, dusting the two inches in portions of Wisconsin, Iowa. Uh, maybe some uh, dusting going on in Missouri, Kansas. Uh, maybe a couple of inches going on in Nebraska and Kansas as well. Um, but again, most of this, it looks like our entire system is going to be mainly over northern Michigan where we'll see the most snow. Our ECMWF high resolution model, which I've probably found to be the most accurate over time. Uh, this one is also showing widespread major snowstorm accumulations. We're seeing widespread major accumulations of 12 to 14 inches of snow going on in portions of north central and northeast central lower Michigan here. Um, and then we're also seeing a core in the middle of that that could briefly see 14 to 16 inches of snow here. Uh, so this one's definitely showing a lot of snow, no doubt. Uh, the models are kind of coming together on what the track's going to be. So it looks like it's going to be mainly along the line extending through Iowa, northern Illinois, southern Wisconsin, and north central and uh, far northern Michigan here. Or I should say far north central Michigan. Um, but the most major of it definitely does look like it's going to be in these red regions here. So this is kind of what I've included on the... Um, on the snowfall forecast that you guys will see in a little bit with locally higher amounts possible. Our GDPS model here, this one's also showing some major snowstorm accumulations. Uh, this one's normally showing a lot of snow, and it is, just not as much as some of the other models are showing. Uh, we're going to see some of, uh, looks like north central western Michigan here, that red core, where we could briefly see 12 to 14 inches of snow. Otherwise, we're seeing some widespread 10 to 12 inches of snow. And then we're seeing so those pink accumulations where we could see 6 to 12 inches of snow here. We're even seeing another area like that in portions of Iowa and maybe an unexpected area in southwestern Wisconsin and more uh, northwestern Illinois as well where we could have some pink accumulations here. Again at this time only winter winter weather advisories have been issued for these areas here. Our main focus is going to be centered mainly over Michigan, maybe Wisconsin and Illinois uh, but this is going to be our main focus. But this one's also showing some pretty uh, heavy snow accumulations here too. Our UK Met model is again not showing too much either. Showing a little bit more widespread snow accumulations than the uh, GFS high resolution model, but it's a pretty similar story, pr uh, pretty similar to what they were saying. It looks like Northeast Lower Michigan's gonna get the most snow of these two models are correct. Uh, with maybe some t uh, 10 to 9 to 11 inches of snow going on here. Uh, looks possible near Alpena, maybe south of Alpena. Um, we're also going to see some 6 to 10 inches of snow. Widespread 6 to 10 going on uh, in portions of north central Michigan as well. Maybe a couple cores in southwestern Wisconsin and northeast central Iowa as well. Maybe even Nebraska too, where we could see um, some widespread 1 to 5 inches of snow. But again, north northern Michigan is going to be the epicenter of the storm, it looks like. Um, these are the models that I wanted to take you guys through. So finally, and this is the last thing we're going to do covering the storm, we're going to show you guys my snowfall forecast again. Thanks thanks to Mr. Bonesteel. These are our new maps that we'll be able to use for this, uh, for the Great Lakes region. So these are perfect. Uh, this is going to be an area where that I'm expecting that we could see up to an inch of snow. Uh, maybe if it's even a dusting. And you'll even notice that some of these areas that were in the rain, or even heavier rain area, are in this here. Um, because we could see some snowflakes, but likely for those areas in particular, it will not stick on the ground. Um, I'm not expecting a ton of snow in some of these areas, but it is possible that we could see at least some snowflakes falling out of the sky. Uh, this is an area that I think we could see one to three inches of snow. Gotta catch my breath. <laughs> this is an area that I think we can see one to three inches of snow, so maybe a little bit more. Uh, this will be for all of northern Michigan, maybe some of central Michigan, especially west central, and maybe even south Michigan here, and or southern Michigan. And then we could also see some uh, one to three inch action going on in portions of eastern Wisconsin, and also some of northern Illinois as well. Uh, some of these shades here, and I, you can see I tried to close it in a little bit better on this one, are kind of occurring outside of the main area uh, that I think this is possible here. So if you're on the outs outskirts of this, it doesn't necessarily mean that you'll see that amount. Um, this is where I think that we could see three to six inches of snowfall. Um, so definitely a little bit more. This is going to be going on for most of northern Michigan. This is going to be f pretty far north of Grand Rapids. So like I told you guys, um, they're kind of on the outskirts of it. It's pretty questionable. It's going to look like Grand Rapids is in the 6 to 9 inch region, but really I don't expect that Grand Rapids area is going to see 6 to 9 inches. Uh, we're going to see all of southeastern Wisconsin and northern Illinois where I believe that we could see 3 to 6 inches of snow as well. This is going to be an area where I think that we could see 6 to 9 inches of snow. Uh, this will include Gaylord, Alpena, and then this will also 
include some areas in southeastern Wisconsin, maybe even including Milwaukee and some of northern Illinois as well. Um, again, this is not including Grand Rapids, I do not believe. Uh, this is where we're starting to enter some major snowstorm territory. This is this red region here is where I think that we could see 9 to 12 inches of snow. Uh, I don't think that this will include Gaylord, but it cl could include Alpena and north central Michigan here. And then finally, this last thing we're going to be doing on the storm, this is where I think that we could see 12 plus inches of snow here, over a foot of snow. Again, in north central Michigan here. Uh, there were some areas saying that in west central Michigan, though, we could see this, but honestly, I don't really anticipate that. I think the eastern side is pretty likely, but there's only like a couple models saying that. Uh, so this is where I think that we will see 12 plus inches of snow with locally higher amounts possible. I um, know that these might not be the exact areas, but this is a general area that I think we could see all uh, these snow accumulations going on in these areas here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I need to catch my breath. <laughs> Okay, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it was really fun making uh, tracks on this. Um, so again, make sure that you are sharing this video out. Uh, be sure to hit that hit a like on the video so that other people can see this as well. Uh, but until then, stay safe, and we'll see you in the next video, Phantom Squad. Thanks for watching, and stay informed.